So I can't resist uh, having a look to see what the body looks on top uh, on the on the loco. So we're going to try it, and um, I don't know whether you remember early in the build, I suggested that perhaps the the steam lubricator that might need adjusting, and um, if we put or we try to mount the 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 body you'll see that it's besides here at the bottom here I mean I expected this so this will go back a bit more but also I'll try I'll bring the camera off the mounting in a minute in a minute so you can have a look but it, this it needs to move forward this way and the um, one of the lines is fouling the the cab back sheet so I'm going to have to make some modifications to the the lines of the of the steam lubricator perhaps move it this way a bit and move it inwards a bit and what I can do of course is when I actually mount it I can just remove the drain the drain plug so I've got a little a little I've got a little bit more breathing room to to get it over so um, I'll just uh, I'll just move the camera and let you have a look yeah right in there that that pipe there that pipe is fouling the back of the um, the cab sheet. The other side isn't um, the other side isn't too bad. The, the the of course this is going to be replaced with a with a mechanism for the radio control um, steam regulator linkage. But this this side's not too bad. I'm not too bothered about that. This is going to be here. This will be going. This will be lowering down to here, so there's going to be plenty of room here. What I can notice is that once it's roughly in position, um, I think what I'm going to do is move the pressure gauge so it's facing rearward, rearwards, so I can see it um, whether the whether the lamo, whether the, the the loco is um, whether I'm on the left or right side of the track. I can still see the pressure gauge properly. So that's something to note for a bit later. But anyway, let's, I'm going to crack on and uh, and remove remove the steam lubricator, remove the steam lubricator, and see if I can play with the uh, play with its uh, positioning. And we'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, uh, after a bit of fettling with uh, the pipes from the steam lubricator, I think I'm now in a position to. Um, mount the bodywork on I've taken the drain plug off uh, for mounting and I've also removed the pressure gauge I'll put that back on uh, a bit later but just to show you let's see if we can push this on make sure the gas tank is in it goes underneath there okay so this is a tricky bit here There it goes, it's underneath. That needs to go on the front. I'm just going to turn it round just a second. Put the other one on. That one goes on there. This one should. There's one. There's the other one. Look at the back. See if we can get that on. There it goes. So it's going to be fitted with bolts on the front and there too. So that's how it fits on. Let me have a look, see if I can find the bolt holes while I'm at it. Over there. They're quite high. So it's about there at the back. And then it's going to be the holes through the bottom here. So this guy's going to be like that. Roughly. Roughly. Like that. So I'll just turn it around on the table so you can see what it looks like. I'm pleased as punch actually.
So we'll clean up the, the bodywork, all the, all the soldering, bits and pieces, and then move on to the next bit of the build. So now we're going to um, clean up some of these soldered, soldered joints. What I want to do is um, clean this up. The outer, you know, obviously concentrating on the, the outside joints. There, this side, this side, there. Perhaps here on the side. I might have a look at the inside here. I'll, I'll give it a go, but it's not my priority. And these underneath are also not my priority. I'm not too bothered about that. I'll prime them when I prime it, uh, the body. I'll get some primer in there, but I'm not putting body colour in there. I don't think it's worth it. I might, I might be uh, sniffling a bit. I've got a bit of a cold, so I apologise for that. I've got, uh, how I'm going to do this is, um, depending on um, how, how much excess solder needs to uh, be taken away, brought back to the metal, I've got my Dremel and this is 120 grain uh, sander, sander on the top, but I'm going to use that very sparingly because messing, uh, sorry brass, um, it's quite a soft metal and with anything when you're doing sanding, what, once you take it away you can't put it back. So. Uh, I'm only going to be using that very sparingly. The other one that I've got, I've got um, uh, 240 grain sandpaper, 240 grain and I've got 400 grain and I'm not going any finer than that because um, when it comes to painting the body I'm going to be keying all the metal work with 400 anyway. So um, I don't want to go finer than 400 so I'll just put the Dremel out of the way to help me out with that I'm obviously I can use my fingers but I've also got different bits of wood different profiles bit of cork and depending on the on the, and the angle of what I need to do I'll uh, I'll uh, clean it up using that okay we're going to start on this side start with a bit of easy bit just just get rid of all this excess here it's not a lot much so I'm going straight in with the 240 and we'll see what we can do Be careful of the etching work around the top here, so very careful. Okay, I'm all right with that. The other side. Okay, now the side. I think I might just have a go with the Dremel with this bit. It looks quite a bit on there. Watch your ears. Might go straight over that with 400 actually. Well, you can see that it looks uh, looks all right. Okay, we're gonna have got this bit, and this is quite rough here, and I have to be careful because there's an etch there as well. So I have to think about how I'm gonna do this, and also I need to get into this get into this corner. using my fingers as a guide. Just that little bit there in the corner. That'll do. Okay, moving across to this side now. Same again, start with the 240. 
I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, so there's both the the front uh, cab piece, spectacle plate, where it meets the tanks. They're done. Start with this one. Go for the other side. Yeah, happy with that other side. But what I want, what I did wanted to show you, was the tender. Here's the tender. I don't know if you can remember, but um, there was a lot of extra solder where I'd made a mistake there was a lot of extra solder in this gully here here so I've got rid of that with the combination of the Dremel 240 and 400 so you know I'm quite happy with that however and I actually had a go at getting rid of some of this top stuff because you know there's going to be the coal loads going to go on here but you know I'll just try to make the best of it I haven't done anything on the inside here I mean, that's going to be black and it's in the deepest corner so I'm going to be all right with that however what I was going to say concerning the tender was um, I'm not happy with the the back end how it's going to work out this business of putting those two uh, kit hooks on here I'm not happy with that at all so what <clears throat> what I'm going to do I'm going to blank off from the inside um, I'm going to blank these off and then I'm going to put filler into these and I'm going to, this is going to just be a plain back. Um, and also on this corner, let me bring it up, see if you can see it. On this corner, this is not a good joint. And when it's, and you can even see through it. So when, once it's painted, you're going to see through this. So I'm going to fill these, both these corners to make them um, look better in appearance and what I'm going to do is um, what I also got from uh, Tom Beatty um, from local works was I got some fine scale uh, lamp irons I'm going to put one in the middle just one in the middle of the tender so um, I'm probably going to pre-drill the hole um, it's uh, it's uh, that's just what's in my mind at the moment. I'm not I'm not I haven't figured it all out yet. So um, that's something that I'm going to be coming back to.